What is up, YouTube? It is Smug Dubs, and I'm here to give a smug lecture, which is like an announcement and PowerPoint in one. And the PowerPoint part's just to help me stay on track, because I never script anything I talk about. Um, so the first thing I want to mention, um, so I generally I want to address my channel and myself and stuff. So I want to start by saying, like, I know about a year ago, like, I posted a hiatus sort of video where I said I was going to take a break and then I posted a Persona 5 video to kind of cap it off on a fun gamer note and at that time I just was in a really bad headspace like I was having lots of dark thoughts um a lot of lack of motivation a lot of hopelessness for like everything in general and um you know I just felt like you know things were just going nowhere and stuff and uh even before that like I was very insecure about my YouTube content like I was thinking you know my videos are weird or unfunny or boring and people didn't like it and I was so focused on like subscriber count or viewers and you know that kind of stuff and like yes I do think it is actually important to like make things that people enjoy like I want my audience to enjoy the stuff I make but um, you know, I, I cared so much to the point where it consumed me and it kind of took over in a bad way. Um, and you know, I, I just felt like I needed to take the break. Like I knew if I kept going while I was in that headspace, like it would affect my content. It would probably show in a lot of my videos that like, you know, oh shit, like I'm actually, this guy's being all depresso and stuff, you know? Um, and yeah, I know I have a silly picture here talking about that, but I'm just trying my best to like kind of keep a light mood. Um, but yeah, like, like Mr. Watermelon Man here, I, uh, went on my own adventure for a year and, you know, I started off at a really low point, but then I met several people, like one person in particular who honestly forever has changed my life and everything for me, but um, you know, I, I actually had consistent good times during the year. Like I, I've honestly felt happier than I ever have, like at any other point. And like, it, it was all amazing and great. And, um, it's unfortunate to say that like, you know, recently things have kind of like been taking a downturn and, um, I'm kind of back to my low point again. And, um, honestly, it's, it's been really hard and I've been struggling to kind of find my motivation to do things again. Like, you know, I, I've been asking myself, what's the point in these things? And, um, I don't know, like, I just, I guess like, I, I really like wanted to try to do better though. Like, like I know I'm really beaten down and honestly, there are things like I was really hoping for, but I know I've been encouraged not to hope. And, and, you know, I'm going to forget that whole hope versus not hoping part, like just in general for what's going to happen in my life. Like I'll put that to the side for now and I'll just kind of focus on like what I can do for myself and how I can be a better person. And, you know, like I'm trying to just at least do better this time around than how I did last year when I hit my low point and, um, you know, I guess, I guess China just believe that I will like find something that'll keep me going. Like just, just believing in that much, like it gave me just enough motivation to make this video and I'm hoping it snowballs into like something bigger. Um, so yeah, I, uh, who knows what that'll lead to. Um, I'll, I'll actually probably get to that in a later slide, but first I want to talk about some things. I am genuinely sorry for, um, now one of the biggest things for me has been like in my past videos, like, like I was so ignorant of, of topics and things that I might've said like certain like phrases or, you know, things that like are offensive to people. And, you know, I, I never ever want to support that. Like even back then I was never about like hurting people, but like. I was too uneducated to say the least 
to like understand what certain things meant or like how much weight certain things had and I'm honestly genuinely sorry about that and just because I wasn't aware of things does not make it right and I was really lucky to have someone who watched my content um, and watched quite a bit of it actually and you know I um, like they pointed out to me they said you know like do you understand what you said in this video and I would look at it and I would be like oh my god like I'm so sorry like I even said that like I never should have and I 100% regret it and um, you know I I just feel really bad or like you know even if it's not something I said like it might be things like my friends have said and I never like spoke out against it I either be quiet or if I didn't understand like the implications for certain things I would kind of like laugh along and stuff and no I, I don't support that and I've done my best to like remove that content but I have like hundreds of videos so there might be like one or two things you know that fall through the cracks and uh, obviously if anyone finds any of those things like they can always like point it out to me like please tell me like the video and the timestamp for it and like I will go to that moment like watch it and you know understand what I did wrong and you know take care of that um, but you know just genuinely generally saying like it's never cool to say certain things like especially if they're like gonna be hurtful to people and like you know even even if none of it was like in a hateful manner like like certain types of comedy shouldn't be spoken about and um you know like just some things aren't worth it like there's a billion other jokes that can be made that you know are not at the expense of people and stuff and um i just want to like address that to everybody like you know even people who i guess might not even be aware like until this video like i want to say you know it's good to be educated and understand like what's upsetting to people and why it's upsetting to people like that's the why is important too um but yeah i i genuinely am really sorry for that like i i really hope to like like my thing like well, I'll get to it in a moment, but the other thing I wanted to say I'm sorry for is, like, I had some Discord communities I created, like, two for my YouTube channel and one for Monster Hunter, because I love that series to death, but, um, you know, I, I essentially deleted them because of my insecurities, like, I felt like nobody really wanted to be here, I was forcing all this, and... It was honestly really stupid of me because I essentially broke up, like, a couple communities. Granted, the YouTube channel ones are people I still know and talk to and all that, but, like, the Monster Hunter one particularly I feel really bad for. And, you know, I I wish, like, between that and, and the previous comments that I said that were offensive and other things, like, I just wish I never did those things and... I know people make mistakes, nobody's perfect, but it still doesn't necessarily mean, like, you know, these mistakes are okay. They're not okay. Um, and it's really hard to do this. I'm trying my best to, like, find a way to forgive myself. Like, these things I hold on to so closely because I do care. Like, I never want to hurt people or, you know, make people's lives worse or anything like that. Like, never. And... I'm just genuinely sorry, like, for all of these things, and, you know, if anybody knows me, like, personally or anything, and they've been involved with me, I'm just generally, like, I guess I also want to make this a general sort of apology to, like, everyone who's ever known me, and, like, I'm just really sorry for all the wrongs I've ever done in life, and, and I know this isn't necessarily going to make it right or anything, but... Like, I just really feel like I needed to express that, and I know, I, like, atonement is a weird thing because I don't think, you know, obviously an apology doesn't fix it. The only thing I can try doing is, like, being better and growing so that I don't, you know, make these sort of same mistakes again, and also just trying my best to be aware to, like, not make future mistakes or anything, you know, or, like, uh 
like even for like things I haven't made mistakes on before, like, you know, just trying to learn and be better and all that stuff. Um, so that's kind of where, where I'm at. Um, cause to be honest, like, uh, one of the things like I want to also talk about, like, is, you know, my insecurities, like, I feel like a lot of problems that I've had kind of stem from those, like, like I've made so many decisions and mistakes and things just because I never felt good about myself or like, I was always paranoid. Like, you know, maybe, maybe people say I'm okay, but I'm really not. Or like, you know, this kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, to be honest, because of my insecurities, I, I've, uh, lost one of the most important things ever to me. And, um, you know, at this point I'm, I'm like, you know, there's just certain losses where like, you're not ever sure, like you'll ever get something like that back or like the thing itself or anyways, I don't want to get too into it. Cause then that kind of gets to a personal area, but like, like that loss has made me realize like how problematic, like some things about me are and that kind of leads me to like uh what I want to talk about next is like you know the the changes I want to do um like when I say change I'm not saying like you know I'm not gonna be me anymore like I'm still gonna be me like my personality is still gonna be mine like I'm not you know I'm not like body swapping mind swapping whatever like I'm not like gonna become a completely different person or anything like that like maybe I won't even be that much of a different person but the thing I will change is like the part of myself that's problematic like whether it is like I said addressing the things I've done in the past and just trying to grow from it and learn and be better about it um or you know like kind of in, in this case, like, majority of my issues is, like, tackling on my, like, um, insecurities and stuff, and just trying not to be, like, super duper rough with myself, because for so long, like, I've had so many periods in my life where I'm, like, all about that self-hatred, or, you know, I'm not good enough, or I'll never be better, and stuff like that, but, like, of course, you know, I can't be better unless, like, I tell myself I can be, like, I have to believe in it and stuff, Um, like, I have, like, hope is good, like, I know, I know some people might get disappointed, but, like, honestly, if you don't have hope to begin with, then how can you even make that first step, you know, and, like, damn, I, I'm not saying, like, I need to rely on the things I hope on, like, but at the same time, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with hoping and, and trying to achieve that hope, like, I think that's perfectly okay and valid. Like, everybody has dreams, and I think dreams motivate, and motivation is good. Like, it gives you the strength to then, you know, grow that dream, and and maybe, you know, like, it's not possible until, like, you, you give it the opportunity to be possible, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, like, I, I just genu- genuinely, like, want to tackle those parts of myself that are, like, problematic and stuff like like you know my insecurities have been my biggest enemy for like such a long time and stuff and you know I'm just I've finally gotten to a point where I'm like you know what like I'm not only am I tired of it but like I said I lost something really important because of it and um I don't want to lose important things anymore like I I don't want to I'm done with that and Um, you know, I guess in a way it's like my, also my motivation to like change certain things about me. That doesn't mean, like I said, I have to be different, but you know, just, just being better, like a better version of me. Like I'm still, I'm still smug. I'm still Frankie, but like, I am a better version of that, you know? Um, so yeah, I... I guess that's kind of where I'm kind of going with that, like for myself. And, you know, one of those things that I'm kind of going to be working on some point down the road is my channel, um, which kind of leads me to this last segment, like what's next. Um, you know, I do want to start my channel back up again. 
I don't know exactly when. It could be, like, you know, in the next couple days or, like, in the next week or couple weeks. Maybe even in the next couple months. But I am definitely trying to aim to get it by the end of this year. So, like, 2023, I would like for my channel to come back up. Um, it, it does depend on certain things, like, personal and, like, how things are moving along. But, um... Yeah, it is something I want to do, and also, I guess part of me making this announcement is, like, let you know, like, hey, I know it's been a year, but this channel is also not dead, um, and now we kind of have, like, a little bit of an idea of when things are gonna kind of go back to, uh, you know, the channel continuing and stuff, but not only that, um, I also do want to open up my Discord servers again, like, and I will be making a separate video, like, for my YouTube channel discords and stuff. Um, and, you know, I completely understand if if people who saw, like, my confessions in my uh, past regrets slide, like, if they don't trust me to run a server anymore, I completely get that. And I don't blame you for it or anything. Like, I get it. I, I'd be weary if, like, someone who had issues and stuff, like, you know, did that and then they're announcing they're gonna like try again like I get it um but you know it is something I want to still try and you know I am gonna just handle it better next time around and stuff like I I want to say I learned my lesson about about these things about like all the things I regret and you know all I can do is just do better and you know I am thankful you know to anybody who's like forgiven me but also thankful to anybody who like is able to give me that trust and stuff um you know i know sometimes it's easier said than done um but yeah i i just want to say like that that's kind of one of my intentions um i'm also trying to like i guess build a small group of people like who I'd be making videos with because I still like you know regardless of whether I'm insecure or not like I just love making videos with people like I love doing commentary together kind of like okay yes I have fun doing it regardless but I think it's exponentially more fun if I'm not just talking to myself like I am right now and like just chatting with someone or you know um but yeah I I want to like get together some people, open up my Discord servers, start this channel again, uh, work on myself, definitely, um, and, you know, maybe potentially improve, like, some of my <laughs> video quality and stuff, like, like, I know it's subjective, and honestly, it is up to each individual person to decide whether a video is good or not, but, like, you know, I just want to be happier with my own videos, and, like, yeah, I know for Let's Plays, commentary is kind of the main thing I do it for because, you know, most of the games I play, like, people already know about, they've already seen, you know, that kind of stuff. I feel like the commentary is what makes it, like, more unique and what makes it more my memory and experience. Um, but I, <clears throat> you know, if, if I can make editing better for certain moments and things, I will try to do that. And, you know, I might be a little bit more prone to like referencing certain materials and things like you know if i if i want to like say like where this sound or clip came from like i'll do my best to be like a little bit more aware on that i can't say i'm gonna like immediately like improve and stuff like honestly this might be something that takes like some time to improve like it might be over the course of months after i start my channel or like a year or something like i don't know but like, I guess I'm talking more about the destination, but really my journey is, like, taking those steps to, like, eventually get to that point, and, um, you know, like, and who knows, maybe, maybe things aren't gonna change too much, but I do at least feel like they will change just enough that, like, things are gonna at least be okay, like, um, you know, maybe the channel will be a little bit better, maybe I'll be just a little bit better, but, like, it's still better like you know it, it'll never be in that same bottom place that it was before or that like I've kind of been in lately um so yeah that's kind of like where where I'm at with the channel like I might I might make new types of videos potentially like 
Uh, I know I do a lot of Let's Plays or random video edits, but like, I might branch out a little bit more. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not quite decided on that yet. And I don't want to, honestly, like any of these like future plans things, like not necessarily making promises, but my intentions are definitely strong and I'm going to do what I can to like get to that point, you know, like, like I'm not just saying this lightly. I'm not just saying this to like satisfy myself or whoever's watching for the moment and then like forget ever exists. Like I do definitely feel strongly about all this um so yeah that's kind of like what my expectations are for like what's coming next um so the last thing i just want to say is like thank you to everyone um honestly i'm surprised that a lot of my subscribers have like stuck around like like i've only lost two out of like 180 so honestly i'm kind of shocked but like in a happy positive way i guess like I didn't th I didn't expect people to, like stick around to be honest, um, but I just want to say like thank you to each and every one of you. Um, I know I've kind of been silent and I'm just really sorry for that and like I said for everything else. But I really appreciate you all and I'm gonna do my best to pick myself up and you know um, keep moving and you know just. Um, you know, do, do what I've always wanted to do and stuff, you know, like, um, not that I didn't do things I didn't want to do during the year and stuff, like, everything, like I said, was great, um, but, you know, like, just, just in terms of, like, things that, like, I left behind originally, like, I want to get back to that, and, um, you know, hopefully in this, like, new journey of sorts, like, I will... I will come out on top, like, not only as a better person, but, like, honestly as a happier person, too, because, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm tired of, like, being upset all the time and stuff, like, well, like I said, this year is great, but, like, you know, just, just the fact that, like, I was able to fall to this point again, like, kinda, kinda makes me think more, you know, but, like, I guess I'm tired of being prone to being upset is is a better way of phrasing it but anyways uh thank you all and i know this video is lengthy but i appreciate you all hearing me out and stuff and i genuinely hope you all like are doing well and you know uh i love y'all and stuff like you're great and you know i hope to see you around soon enough um so yeah just one more time thank you all and I'll catch you around. Peace.